So one of the things that we must do when using the teach pendant is that we have, sorry, we have this screen. It is the first one that appears. And what I want to teach you is how to create a program. The first thing that we must take into account is that we have the robot in origin position. Once we have the robot in origin position, we can start doing the software. This is uh, supposedly if we have to start from scratch. So once we enter this menu by pressing exe, we can go to the first menu, file and edit. And here we will get the list of all the programs at the controller. Remember that this is the control and the controller is the CPU. The CPU is the one who processes the information and the control or the teach pendant or the terminal will be the one who controls the robot in manual mode. So what we have to do here is to check the function buttons and click at the new, new file so we can create a program. If we press the function buttons, we can delete we can delete, rename, or protect some programs, or we can close this menu and go back. So we are going to select new, the other ones will be editing an existing uh, program, and we can go to a position from the 49 programs that we have. So we are going to click new, or we can copy one, and we're going to name the program. The first step is that you know that we have a character button here that will change from ABC to 1, 2, 3. And here we have the letters. We have ABC, DF, DEF, GHI, etc. And we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So depending on what we're going to write, uh, we're going to use the characters. In order to put, for example, the C, we have to press the key three times so we can get to the C. So let's put uh, a name, we are going to name this as test and I'm going to put the date 0321. So this way I know that there won't be another problem that is called the same. So I'm going to click exe and now I have my program created called test 0321. The first thing that we have to do here is to set the, the first position uh, that we have the robot that is home position. The robot is at the home position, at the safe position. And why do we want to do that? Because if we get some movements that we don't want, we can always go and put the first position that we're going to record and go back to that step. And when we finish programming, we will left or we will leave the robot in the original position. So the first thing that we have to do in order to do that is to press a insert at the keys. And here we are going to create the name for the robotic controller. For example, what we have to do is to create a, a, a command for that and what we have to do here is to input the command that is called mob. Sorry. Mob, we get the space, point one. Once we get that, we are going to insert that command and with that we'll have the first input and what we have to do is to teach the position to the robot. Here it says record the current position, we're going to click yes. So with that we have the first position recorded. Remember to always teach the robot the position to insert the command and with that we'll have. So how do we save the program? We have to go and close the program. And that is all. So as I told you, this is the first position of the robot and it will be at the origin point. How do we know that we are at the origin point? Well, at the joints, 
we we'll have to align them with these stickers that we have and if we don't have the stickers well just make sure that the robot is in a good position to start off the task that we want to develop